gaming news wise, really the only gaming news going on right now is kind of a follow up to yesterday's story about the Game Awards. If you remember yesterday, we went in depth talking about the six Game of the Year nominees at the Game Awards. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, we already talked about the Game of the Year nominees, but it seems like some of the other nominees are also causing a lot of stir and uproar. Like, for example, we're currently playing Sonic Frontiers, okay? Out of the entire game of Sonic Frontiers, what is the thing to you that maybe is the most surprisingly good, right? And, uh... Pff, fuck this guy right here. Get out of here. What is the thing in the game that is the most surprisingly good part that all of us are kind of like, whoa, this is crazy. I didn't expect that it was going to be this good. For me, honestly, of all Sonic Frontiers, I would say it's the soundtrack. I actually think the soundtrack of the game is exceptional. It reminds me of the soundtracks of a game like Nier Automata um, or, or Nier Replicant. Um, and I just kind of like, as I play, I'm like, wow, this is actually one of the most chill things in the game. Like, it's really relaxing and interesting. So, guess what game didn't get nominated for the, one of the best soundtracks of the year? And you want to know why? Because no one fucking played it. And this is the problem with having the Game Awards the first week of December. It's all the nominations at the Game Awards are done by games journalists. Alright? Doesn't matter what Jeff Keighley claims. He says, oh, no, we send it out to the jury. It's prominent people in the games industry. It's games journalists. And probably a few game developers. Okay? It's a very small, selective group of elites that he picks to nominate all the stuff for his award show. The problem with that is that you can only nominate games that you know of. How many of those gaming elites actually played Sonic Frontiers? Probably 1%. As opposed to how many of them probably played God of War Ragnarok? Probably like 90%. You see? They all got the game early, they played it, so now they can nominate it for the Game Awards. So that being said, um, basically, what ends up happening every year is you get games that get completely snubbed and in this case, I definitely agree. <clears throat> Sonic Frontiers got snubbed in that regard. Of all the things you can agree on when you're playing the game, the one thing that's the best is probably the music. And they don't recognize that at all. You know? And again, it's a, a major problem with these game awards is that so many people tr trust them as like, this is the official <clears throat> awards <clears throat> for the absolute <clears throat> best thing ever. Right? And it's like, but it's not. It's just a bunch of opinions of a bunch of fucking elites in the industry who have agendas, who didn't play all the games. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same thing, too, because every year they say that there's always a bunch of games that, that get completely get snubbed or they get shoved under the rug into a different category. Like, for example, um, indie games, right? They have their own category. But then it's like some of the indie games are exceptionally good, but they almost never get nominated for Game of the Year. It only seems to be giant AAA games, except there's a few exceptions. Last year, it takes two one, right? But outside of that, usually, usually, it's mostly giant AAA games that get to that final point being nominated as Game of the Year. So, people are like, yeah, it's kind of bullshit. If you take a look at all the games that always get nominated, isn't it always the same style or the same budget? Why is it that we can't get other games in the running? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what the, the, the uh, you know, the rationale is, again, outside of the fact that it's just a bunch of gaming elites. Gaming elites are going to play the biggest games because those are the ones that they were gifted, you know, handed to them on a silver platter. Here, play our game early so you can praise it and give us free advertising and hopefully give it a glowing review, you know. So, that's what's going to happen. That's, again, that is just a symptom, all right, of the gaming industry and the way that it works. If you've got gaming companies that hand-select the people they're going to give games to early as a means to hope that you'll play it early, think favorably of it, and then give it free promotion all over the internet. It's a you-scratch-my-back, I'll-scratch-yours mentality. When it comes to the end of the year and it's time for the Game Awards, of course it's going to be those games, right, that are going to stand out in your mind, right? So that's the deal is I feel like we're in a situation where you're always going to have a select group of games that will always get the priority because the way the industry is set up. And as you guys know, I completely disagree with the way the industry is set up. I don't think 
that people should be getting these games early. I don't think that there should be a select few that get all the power in the industry. But this is just how it's getting, it's becoming. And it didn't used to be like that. Essentially what's happening is the gaming landscape is becoming exactly the same as movies, as television. You know what I'm saying? It's all becoming the same now. It's the same deal. How it always is in other entertainment mediums. Now the gaming industry is getting set up that way too. And that's not good. You know, gaming for a long time was seen as the rebellious hobby. The thing that you weren't, you know, the big booster popular if you were into gaming or whatever. And now, it seems like it's the opposite. And when that happens, that's when all this shit begins. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Um, there's really nothing else to say about, uh, hold on. There's really nothing else to say about game news this week. It's more of a calm week. It's just the Game Awards, and of course, everyone's playing God of War, and everyone's playing Sonic and talking about those games, but that's really about it right now, okay? <clears throat> All right? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just kidding. I wanted to see if I stared at the camera how you guys would react. Um, happy snappy